When we think about time, it isn't looking at your clock. Time is how you spend your time. Um, and leaders can always spend one or two things. They can spend money or they can spend time. To be honest, spending time is the most critical asset we have. Leaders can get money, but it's much more difficult and a scarce resource is to spend time. So when we look at time, we think about it as behavior. What are you doing with your time and what are the signals and what are the messages you're sending? Um, we talk to a leader and they say, I'm committed to customer service. In the last 90 days, how much time did you spend with customers? How much customer service data did you look at? And if their time doesn't reflect their desired goals and outcomes, then they're going to be hypocrites. People measure us by how we spend our time. And when we work with leaders to sustain change, it isn't an aspirational statement. I want to do a better job shaping a vision. I want to do a better job engaging others. I want to do a better job building teams. It has to show up in your calendar related to time. One of the great studies we did many years ago, we went to headquarters and we said, what do you expect of your frontline leaders? And they gave us expectations. We went to the frontline leaders and we said, how much time would it take you to do that? And their answer was about 120 hours a week. The corporate headquarters expectations were so far away from the reality of what their frontline leaders faced that there was no coordination. Then we actually went to the frontline leaders and we said, where do you spend your time? And they were working their 50 hours a week and it only overlapped 40% with 120. We went back to this company and said, you've got a major problem because you've got corporate folks who are so disconnected that they're expecting people to spend time on stuff they're not and they're not aware of what they are spending time on. Leadership sustainability is driven by my calendar. And if I can manage my calendar in a personal way, I'll be much more successful. It shows up in our personal lives as well. One of the most common things I hear from leaders in their 40s, 50s, men and women, I'm committed to my children. So show me your calendar. What have you done? Are you taking time with them in a serious way? Now we know that that's not easy. But we also know that if we don't invest that time, and you can't delegate it, well, I've got a babysitter and they're in good hands. No, we've got to spend that time. And that's what leadership time is about. Are we putting our time on the things that are most critical to those we care about?